that I want to share with you, and I am so it can um, help one of you. Um, last month, I have been convicted for a second degree murder in United States of America. I'm going to tell you, it happens to me. So I think, and then I have to go to court to clear myself. And I think it will be very nice for me to come here and share it with you what i went through so that some of you guys you can be careful and i will advise you also what to do yes i will advise you guys also what to do because today uh it's not easy to be a black man in the united states of america especially we have a president who <coughs> who you know he's a bigot and i'm going to tell you what happened and today if you live in america please you have a friend who is not a who is not an american citizen you are having a permanent resident. You better listen to me. If you have a green card, aka a permanent resident, listen to me. And if you have a friend who you know he's having a permanent resident, he lives in America, make sure you take this video forward to your friend. Because this thing, it may happen to your friend. They don't know. Because right now they change the immigration system. And this is something, it's a tip that I'm going to tell you. And please, if you know somebody who had a permanent resident, be careful because right now they change all the immigration system. You had a friend, take my this video, talk your friend. Take my this video, tell your friend to watch it. Let them learn from what exactly happens to me. Okay. Uh, my people, um, uh, uh, today I'm going to speak in, uh, in English. Somebody was saying, uh, because you have uh, different race who are listening to you, so you need to speak English. Yes, today I will do my best and um, speak um, English sort of for the uh, uh, beneficial of all um, all my viewers. And then somebody was saying, I look good. Yeah, because I shaved my hair, you know, I want to look young. I shaved my hair. Now, you know, today I can see, you know, I'm looking more sexy. You know, just look at me. You know, I change everything today, you know. Uh, oh, uh, you know, I also want to look long, young, man. I don't want to uh, look old. That's why sometimes uh, it upset me when some people are calling me a uncle. I'm not your uncle there. You know, I'm just 17 years old. I'm just a baby, you know. So please don't tell me, uh, don't call me uncle, okay? And then I saw my sister also is calling me in-law. Please, you know, uh, let's put the <laughs> in-law thing aside, man. I'm not your in-law, okay? Uh, okay, um, uh, this thing happens to me. Uh, uh, like uh, a month ago, uh, I had been driving, and then uh, a police officer pulled me over, and uh, the police officer charged me of second second degree murder. Before you know, and a ticket of attend second degree murder. And uh, in case you don't know, if you are um uh, uh, if you are found guilty of second degree murder in United States, you can go to jail. I think for forty five days, and then you have to pay uh, I think seven thousand dollars. If I'm right, if my uh, figures are right, seven thousand dollars. So and then now I did I did not take that second degree murder as a big thing, you know, because I don't know. You know, so I'm a law abiding citizen. Okay, so and then I don't take it as a big deal. So I say, okay, no big deal. Now and then I have a lawyer. So and I contact my lawyer. So I send the lawyer the uh, um, uh, 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 the the paperwork. But I don't see the police report yet. I don't know what the police put in his report because I have no idea. All I have is a ticket that a police officer say he charged me for a second degree murder, a reckless driving and endangerment, uh, endangerment of someone. So, and then I sent it to my lawyer. My lawyer called me back and told me, hey, you know what? I don't think I can take this case because this case is a criminal case. I said, what? A criminal case? Am I criminal? He told me, yes. Because of what the, <coughs> what the <coughs> police officer said, it's a criminal case. And then this one, I think <coughs> it's going to cost you like around $7,000 for you to get a lawyer, like $7,000 for me to take this case. And then, and then uh, maybe too, you also, uh, when they found you guilty, you going to jail. I said, holy shit, going to jail? What the fuck do I just commit? You know, I said, no, what, you know, what happened? And then the, uh, mm, mm, uh, the, uh, my lawyer told me this is a second degree murder. This is very dangerous. But the first thing that my lawyer was scared is, are you a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident holder? 
He told me, I'm very sorry to ask you this. I should not ask you, but I just want to know. I tell him, why do you ask me that? Because, you know, come on, man. I just want to know. And then my lawyer told me, okay, now they change the immigration system. Even you have a ticket, it's going to affect your green card if you want to renew it. I don't know if you guys know it. That's why today I want to share this with you. And I want some of you, please, you know a friend who lives in America, who had a permanent resident, advise them to watch my this video. And then since my, uh, 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 since my, uh, my uh, lawyer told me that, I say, okay, now, thank God I'm not a permanent resident holder. I'm an American citizen. He said, oh my gosh, thank Jesus. This is what my lawyer told me. He told me because right now, if, if, even you have a ticket, it may affect you. Because today they are updating the uh, 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 the green cards uh, the, the green card procedures every fucking day. They are updating them. Today you will see your lawyer will tell you this. Your lawyer, lawyer will lawyer, your lawyer will go online and find another thing. This motherfucker at, uh, at the White House. I don't want to call his name because I know he is disgusting. I know he's a bitch. He's a sinner for an asshole. He's a born for nothing. This is vagabond man at the White House. That man changed everything. He is making things so difficult. So now when the next president come, that man have lot to do. Lot, there are a lot of immigration reform that he need to do. Because this motherfucker at the White House right now, he spoiled everything. He's making life so difficult for we, the Africans, especially we, the blacks, especially we, the migrants who are coming here to find a better life. And then, since my lawyer told me that, I said, wow, second degree murder. He told me, yes. My people, you know, no, uh, you know, but I was wondering, okay, now, you know, because I was terrified to be honest with you guys, because I never expect this. So, and then I went to court. Uh, the, uh, 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 the judge, uh, the judge and the prosecutor sit and then they discuss. So now, my people, let me tell you, you see, Prayers walk. You see, when prayers are with you, no matter what, because, because, you know, I told my lawyer, how can I prove myself? Because what the police officer say, the police officer say on, on, on the report, the time the, uh, uh, my lawyer read the report to me, the police officer say, I was driving too close to another car. Just listen, I was driving too close to another car. And then he said that, uh, because I drive too close to another car, I can even hit that other driver. I can even kill him. And he also said, I was driving zigzagging on the street. Wow. And then the police officer was behind me. So how the fuck can you be behind me and know exactly what is going in, fr uh, uh, in front of me? Because I know I was not zigzagging. Because, you know, the police officer was standing on the street and I saw the police officer. I just, uh, 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 the, the, the car front of me passed and then I also followed the driver. The police officer also, maybe he's, uh, maybe, I don't know whether he know I'm a black person. Now he was behind me. I can see the police officer on my mirror. I can see the police officer. So now I don't know because he was behind me. He run my number plate. Since he run my number plate, he knows that, okay, this man, he don't do nothing. The number plate is right. He got the insurance. He had this. Now, at the end, he was still behind me. Less than a couple of minutes, he just pulled me over. And the police officer said, okay, I pull you over because you are driving next to that car and then you try to overtake that car, you can even kill somebody. I tell him, no, officer, it's safe for you to yell. You can yield when it is safe to do so. But this other driver signaled, so he left. That's why I yelled, but it was safe to do so. And I was not driving uh, so close to the, uh, 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 the driver in front of me, you know? And I tell him, no, that's not true. Now, he was just upset with me because I tell him that you are lying because I was so upset, you know? It made you so upset when a police officer who should protect you lying on your face. My people, it should upset you. That's what upset me because you are a police officer. They are taking my tax money. I am paying more tax than this motherfucker at the White House. I know you guys know that. I pay more money. I pay more tax today than Donald Trump. I pay more tax today than even Donald Trump. President Obama pay more tax than Donald Trump. Donald Trump was not paying tax. We also, um, I even post Donald Trump tax paperwork on Facebook so that everybody can see. 
We the poor people, we are paying more tax than this vagabond at the White House. We are paying more tax than him. And I just cannot believe this. We the poor Americans, we are paying more than these vagabonds. And then at the end of the day, I was shocked why the police officer said that. Then from there also, the police officer said, since he gave me a ticket, I was driving on the street, I was zigzagging too, and I was just, um, you know, doing what the fuck I want. So now I told my, uh, now I told my, uh, uh, my lawyer, that did not make no sense, because if a police officer gives you a ticket, and then you start to do the same bullshit, the officer can pull you over and give you another ticket. So he told me that, you know, this thing, it did not make no sense to me. And then, uh, and then, the, uh, 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 my lawyer said, yes, you are right, but how many of you were inside the car? I tell my lawyer, it was only me. My lawyer said, okay, it was only you, yes. I say, okay, now there is nothing that you can do here. Because sometimes the judge will, uh, will, uh, will believe what the police officer say. And this is exactly what my lawyer told me. Sometimes the judge will believe what the police officer said. So now, now I, <coughs> now I told the judge, okay, you know, this is the type of job I do. You know that. So now what can we do? Because I don't want this thing to affect my family. But sometimes, you know, I was thinking, okay, now if I have this in my record, how am I going to feed my family? A police officer just lied behind me, uh, just lie about me. But the, but the police officer did not know how many people that I am feeding. I am hustling. The police officer did not know how many people are back home who are relying on me. The police officer don't know how many kids do I have at home? How many people I am feeding? But the police officer just said, just went and tried bullshit just because of he hit me or something, my people. I was thinking about this, you know, I was thinking about too many stuff. I went through a lot during that time because I was trying to, you know, take this and make a sense. So, uh, so, uh, and then I was saying, okay, now, this police officer, why, why did he even did this? That was my question. So what motivated the police officer that he went and put me in this? You know, and it did not make no sense, my people. Today, uh, that day was the first time I realized that police officer can lie in their report. And it happened to me. I say, you know what? God is great. Because I know what I'm going through, you know. But, you know, but I believe in God that I don't do it. I don't commit the crime. Now I went home. I took my, uh, 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 I took my, um, water. I do some, you know, my ablution. In case if you don't know, I'm a Muslim. So, and then I do my ablution. So, and then I start to pray. Since I pray, and then I call on God. I say, God, you know what? You know that I don't commit this crime. Now I know the, uh, there's only one person who can, uh, uh, who can acclaim me from this. It's you, God. But God, I'm going to court this day. And God, I want you with me. You know, uh, people need to know that, you know, you are, uh, we need God in our life. No matter what happened, go back to God. God is the only one who can uh, change the mind of the judge. judge is, uh, God is the only one who can show the judge, okay, this is the truth. Judge, do this. Because I know I am not in control. You are not in control. But God, Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is in control. I am a believer. So, and then I went up to the court. So the judge come and then I stood there. I, uh, you know, I, uh, I, during this Corona, you can do a, a Zoom, but I don't do Zoom. I want to go there myself. I went up to there. <coughs> so now the judge called and then it was my case. I stood up. Now they explain everything what happened. The judge said, okay. The judge, uh, the judge was even surprised. The judge said, okay, did anybody die? They say no. Did he hit any car? Now listen to me, this important point. What the judge was asking. Did he hit any car? They say no. Did anybody die? No. Any injury? No. So why? The judge just look at me. I look at the judge. The judge said, he, uh, the hair, her hair like this. Yeah. You see? There was no murder. There was no injury. There was no crash. There was no hit and run. There was no violation that I did. And the judge looked at me. The judge shake her hair. You know? And then, that is the time I know, yes, 
Allah is with me. You see, where I was standing, my body hair was stood up. I can feel it. My hair, you see, all my hair, you know, my body was shaking. And I know, yes, something is in with me right now, my people. I know something is right here. The judge looked at me and then my judge, uh, uh, and then my lawyer also was also telling the judge, yes, none of this happened. This and that is what the police officer said. And then the judge also went and, and read the report of the police officer. The judge also say, uh, the, uh, the judge also say, okay, now open this and read. The judge went and opened this one and read. Open this one and read. And say, okay. You know, and the judge looked at me, but you know, it was just like, I know, I, I, I can even feel, and, uh, and I even know, the judge know, yes, something is going wrong somewhere. Now, the prosecutor and the, uh, uh, the, pro uh, the prosecutor and the judge, the prosecutor also stood up and said, okay, so now, uh, the city is ready to dismiss the case. I say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbin Alameen. Uh, now, but uh, just, uh, 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 you know, let me tell you, the police officer uh, 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 charged me of second degree murder and another three ticket. Can you be another three ticket? The other one is 150, 150, 150, and another 500. I think the total amount went up to 950 or nine something. Three, I'm telling you, three different tickets, including second degree murder. Can you believe it? Three tickets, including second degree murder. I say, okay, so this is what happened, right? Okay, no problem. So now, I say, <coughs> <coughs> now, the judge say, okay, you know what? Maybe I can take the second degree murder case. Now, the other uh, three cases, you can go and find another lawyer who's going to take that. My people, I was just sitting there. So now, the judge say, uh, uh, the judge told my, um, uh, my lawyer, okay, so now you can take uh, this criminal cases and then all this uh, and then all these three uh infraction together he said okay now uh, i will do my best so and then we talk now the prosecutor said okay so now the city is ready to put the case down if mr ba is ready to pay an amount of 150 so we dismiss all the case and then my uh, my lawyer tell me this is the uh, best thing I can offer you and i see yes it's a good uh, uh, uh it's a good uh uh i see yes it's a good thing that okay i'm going to pay 150 but they're going to dismiss all those cases the case that you know i do not commit and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that i do not commit that crime but there is no way i can prove myself i say okay as long as now they are ready to clear this now okay no big deal i am ready i will pay the money but if you see today, I made this video. It's for some of you permanent resident holders. Today, if you have a ticket, it can affect your uh, your uh, your uh, uh, um, uh, uh, your immigration status in this country. Yes, it can affect your immigration status because today they are updating. Some of you, you don't know how how uh, how quickly these motherfuckers are updating this uh, 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 this. Uh, 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 uh. This immigration stuff. Some of you, maybe you will think, okay, if I have a ticket, it's fine. You know, no, no, it's not fine. Yeah, now because of this idiot at the White House, it's not fine anymore. You have a ticket, go and fight for it. And let me tell you, if you have a traffic ticket, you can get a lawyer maybe for, uh, because it's a traffic ticket, you can have a lawyer for maybe less than $300. Yes, I don't know whether you know it. You can have a lawyer for almost Maybe 150, 200, 300 dollars. <coughs> That's why I want you, um, <coughs> I want to urge you, especially you, the uh, my African brothers and, and sisters, when you have a ticket, do not go and pay the ticket. You rather go and pay a lawyer to defend you, to go and find a deal, to, you know, for you. It's better than for you to go and pay the ticket because the ticket is not is going to affect only your insurance. The most important thing is going to affect is the way you are sitting. In this country and that is the most important thing yeah forget about the insurance the most important is the way you're going to sit in this country that ticket that you think okay if i pay it i'll be good it can affect that that is what i want you guys to understand you have a traffic ticket my people do not go and pay it go and find a traffic lawyer 
You can find a traffic lawyer online. Cheap, uh, um, cheap, uh, cheap uh, 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 traffic ticket lawyer. You can go there and find. You can go and Google it. You can talk to them. It's better for you to go and fight it alone. Do not go and uh, <coughs> do not go and face a lawyer by yourself. I'm going to advise you. Go and find a uh, 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 go and find a cheap lawyer. You can find a cheap lawyer who can help you, who can take your case. Okay, and then or else if you think okay, I don't have money. I don't have money. You can go and then apply uh, something called. Uh, mm, uh, 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 I think, uh, uh, I think, uh, something, at, at, I think, uh, um, defender, uh, 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 public defendant. You can, go, uh, you can also go and apply a public defendant. The public defendant also will come and help you for free. Okay. But that's, uh, but that one other, you have to be qualified. If you don't have enough income, you can prove that, okay, I don't have enough income. This is my income. So now, <coughs> the public, a defendant will go and check whether you are qualified. That's why I am appealing to you. If you have a uh, brother, your sister, your friend, your auntie who does not have a who does not have an American passport yet, send them this video. Let them know that let them not fucked up with their traffic. Uh, 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 let them not fucked up with the, um, uh, with this police. Okay, because if you have a ticket, go take a lawyer. It happened to me. The uh, the police officer went and uh, and uh, uh, said that I commit second degree murder, and it does not happen. But you see, God is the one that was with me, my people. God turned the mind of the uh, the judge. The judge also was asking, "Did anybody die? No. Any crash? No. Did they, uh, you know? Did it hit anybody? You know, everything was no, 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 no." There was no crash. There was no So how come will you charge somebody of second degree murder? And that is what I went through, my people. Today, I want to come here and share this with you so that you guys can know this is what happened to me. And I need your prayers. You can still pray for me. Yes, I need your prayers. But I also want you guys also to advise your cousin, your aunties who live in this country. Things are changing. This motherfucker at this White House, this worthless man, he's making things so difficult for us. He's making life so difficult for us. And may God not help Donald Trump to win this, ne this next election. Do may God not help because, you know, we cannot handle another four more years of Donald Trump. We cannot. Let me tell you, we cannot handle it. That's why you know somebody who, ha who is American. Tell them, let them go and vote. Let them go. Let me tell you, we the minority, we can change. There are thousands, of, uh, there are millions of African Americans. They never vote. But the time Obama contacts for election, you see thousands of African Americans, they went to vote. Millions of African Americans. We make ourselves, our voice heard. That's what we did. We all, all the blacks, we all went and vote. I saw an African American who, you know, he was 78 years old. She never vote in her life. But guess what? The day Obama came, all of them, they went and vote. So if you are a minority, you can change. You have a voice. You can do something today. Don't sit on your couch and say, oh, they're all politicians. There's a motherfucker, they're all the same. This one, they're all the same. But Donald Trump is worse than the one who is coming next. We all see what the fuck Donald Trump is saying. We all see. We can all hear it every fucking day. Sorry. Uh... We all see it. And it's happening. That's why today I want to enlighten you for you guys to please do your best. And then talk to others. Let them go and vote. Let them go and vote. And then I'll, um, and then uh, talk to your uh, people. Please let them know. Don't fuck with the traffic. You have a traffic ticket? Go find a lawyer who is going to help you. Do not go and fight this for yourself, you alone. Do not go and do it. It's not going to help you. Please, my people, especially you guys who live in America. You have a permanent resident. This is what the lawyer tell me. And that's why today I want to share this with you. So that you guys can do today. If you have a ticket, you have a permanent resident, it can affect your immigration status. You have a ticket. That ticket, they can use it against you. They can use it. So that's why today I want to come here and say this. And I hope my this video can help some of you. You guys can know that this is what is going on. But this is what you guys can do to change. May God also help us, you know. We can live in this country in peace. May God help us, you know, and protect us from our enemy. Anybody who have a hard feeling on us, may God change their mind. You know, let them have good feeling on, uh, you know, on us. But please, police can lie. 
police can lie. Some, you know, b before if people tell me, I don't believe it, but it happened to me. This police officer went and lied in his report. And the police officer don't know how many people I'm feeding. How many people are at home that, you know, because of me, I put food in their mouth. How many people are back home because of me, they put food in their mouth. But the police officer don't remember all of that. So this is very important for us to be extra be careful. That's why today I came here. I want to enlighten you. So, you know, you guys also can do your best. Please, let's enlighten each other. Talk to a friend. Because today you don't even know. Uh, uh, you know, I can, okay, you know, I can just uh, have this and they shut my mouth. But I want to come here and explain it to you. And I want you to save somebody. Let them know today. The immigration thing you can do yesterday and go away with it. Today you cannot go and go away with it. You know, because today, my people, you, you can just drive from one place to, uh, you know, from just like one mile. You speed up for like uh, five miles. You can get a ticket. But now, if you did your best, you talk to your friend, you know, he, he or she is a permanent resident. You tell him, hey, you, we need to be very careful. You know, it, uh, you know it's, uh, it's okay for us to get each other's back. Okay, it's fine. You got my back. You have the information you think it can help. Tell me. You know, I have information that can help. I tell you, you got my back, I got your back. That's how life works. That's why white people are fucking success. That's why they're success. Because they got each other's back. That's what I want you guys also to do. We can got each other's back. We help each other here. You see something that is that can harm your brother. Tell your brother, hey, be careful there. Now, this is how it goes. We got each other's back. And I hope my this video can help uh, uh, you people. Uh, for the door <coughs> yeah and I hope my <coughs> video can help uh, sorry I am always scared of the cold when it is cold I keep, um, I keep on having cough and you know my run is my nose is running so I, I, I have to wear a hoodie because I'm, I'm always scared of the cold so I'm going to stop my video here and I hope my this video can help you and I hope it can help your sisters or your cousin or some people who you know they have a permanent resident aka green card be careful yeah because today these motherfuckers are updating they are updating the papers they are updating the paper today uh, 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 you contact a lawyer a lawyer will tell you okay this is uh, uh, this is what is the requirement but not anymore you know why because I was filing my son's, uh, um, uh, uh, my son's um, citizenship, you know. And then my lawyer told me that, okay, I have to go and check it. I tell him, no, you don't even know, uh, uh, you, you don't even know this on your head. My lawyer told me, no, because right now they keep on changing. You know, every time they change paperwork, every time we have to go and check this, every time, you know, this is what the lawyer tell me. So they keep on updating. So the more they keep on updating, the more we also should got each other's back. Let's take this information, we spread it, because it can save somebody. It can help somebody. Please, my people, so I'm going to stop my video here. My name is Dr. Babaja, a.k.a. Serin Chapachole. I am the voice of the voiceless. I have you in my prayers, and, I, uh, and I'm calling each and every one of you to put me in your prayers. Thank you. Uh, each and every one of God, uh, God bless you all. God bless you all. Allah wa hidun. Hallelujah. Cheers.